Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. Well, I had a question come my way, so I figured I'd do a bit of digging and figure out how you can run a live quiz or a live poll during your Teams meetings with your classes, and it's actually not that difficult. What we're going to do is we're going to use a tool that's already built in with the Microsoft Suite called Forms, and in this video, I'm going to show you first how to create your poll or your quiz in advance. Then we'll look at how to share that poll or quiz with your class during your team's meeting, how to uh, display live results, and how to share it with a breakout group if you want them to, uh, to answer some uh, questions during a breakout activity. Well, the first thing that we want to do is actually go and create a quiz or a poll that we can use with our students during our class. So from my general area, I'm going to click on Files and I'm going to click on New. What I'm going to use is Forms for Excel. I click on this and it's going to ask me for a name. So I will call this Sample Class Poll and I will hit create. It will take me to Microsoft Forms Online and I can now set up my class poll. So I'll add some simple questions. I guess my first one in this case would be, what is your name? Of course, you don't need to use the what is your name if you want these to be anonymous uh, responses. And now I will add one more simple question. This will be a choice question. Did you see this question in the poll. And I will add, um, I'll add all, I can always delete the maybe, either they have or they haven't. And that should be enough questions for me for now. I can click on responses myself during class if I want to view the live responses. And I'm now ready to share my poll with my class during a live uh, class meeting. Well, to share my poll with a class or to share my quiz with a class, I need to get back into Teams and I'm going to start up a meeting that I can share this with. So I will go to my general area and I'm going to click on the little Meet Now button. You probably have a pre-scheduled class already started up. So there's nobody in this meeting with me. That is fine. I'm going to turn off my webcam because uh, I'm using my webcam to record this video. I'm here in the meeting and I want to get my poll to share with my students. I'm going to come back into my poll here in my browser and simply click on the share button. It gives me a bunch of options. I can get the link is the easiest way. You can also get a QR code or some embed code. We will just worry about the link right now. I'm going to copy this link, come back into my Teams meeting, and I'm going to click on the conversation view here now, the chat window. So what I want to do is go and add in a message for my students, hidden behind my smiling face here, so I'll move that out of the way. And I'm just going to type a quick message for my students. Hey, everyone, please answer this quick poll. Now, when you're posting your poll here, you may want to actually verbally tell your students during the meeting that you're posting a link to the poll in the chat area because they may not have the chat visible themselves. So I've posted my message. Here is my link to my quiz. My students can now click on this link. It will bring them to the form to fill in. If I click on that, let's have a look. Here we go. I can answer the poll. So my name is Rob, and yes, I did see that. I've submitted my answer. Now, if I want to share live results from this poll with my class, I can simply come back over to my forms area, and I can click on responses here. This will show the responses coming in in real time. In my meetings area, I can simply click on share my screen. So I will do that, I'll share my screen, and now my students can see the poll results coming in in real time. The last option that I wanna look at here is how to share uh, a poll or a quiz that I've set up using forms with my students if they are in a breakout 
channel, a breakout meeting. So I have a breakout channel set up. I'm going to go back into my team's uh, area here. I can go to my breakout team one. You may have more than one breakout team set up. And I can add it to the files area, but the easiest way to do this is simply to click on this add a tab. You'll see that forms is one of the options here that you can add. So I'll click on forms. And now I can create a new form here following the same, uh, same steps, but I'm gonna click on add an existing form this time. And I will click sample class poll. And I wanna add it so that I can collect responses. You can also add it here to show the results or to collaborate. I wanna add it to collect responses. And you can post, uh, you can check here so that it posts about this channel in the tab. I will hit save. So now this is available to my students when they come to the breakout area. So I can let them know before they come to the breakout uh, session that I want them to click on this tab up here and fill in the poll while they're doing the breakout activities. I've also posted a little message in the stream here that they need to fill out the poll.